All right, Nick, one of our teams on the rise has been the New York Jets. They look very, very strong as a team, especially on that defensive side of the ball, Nick. They have a lot of standout rookies. I'd say most notably that of Sauce Gardner, who's come taking the NFL by storm. He looks like one of the best. Yeah, he looks like one of the best, best corners in the league. I wouldn't even just say rookies wise. He looks really, really good. Uh, And Garrett Wilson on the other side of the ball also looks really good. And I think the general theme for today is this Jets team is just a good football team. And especially if they can fill a couple holes, they would be a great football team. And we have some of the evidence to back that up, Nick. But uh, I have to ask the Jets fans in the comments below. We're getting into the midseason, right right about getting into the chunk of halfway. And we got to know in the comments below, who has been your midseason MVP for this team? Let us know who the midseason MVP is, who has surprised you, who's looked really, really good. Uh, we got to know in the comments below. But, Nick, what do you got on this Jets team? Yeah, so anytime you're trying to judge how good a football team is, right, because obviously the old Bill Parcells saying you are what your record is, uh, that plays weight. The Jets are 5-3, and three, which is obviously a winning record. They've beaten a lot of good teams. They're a good team by all standards. But you're trying to gauge at this point in the season how good certain teams are. Are they real contenders? Are they fake contenders? Are they on the right track? Or they just have an easy schedule or, or whatever? So one of the things I look for, Mize, is I like to compare some of these upstart teams that are kind of entering into the fold to teams that you know are steady contenders and are doing well and are always at the top or have been around a while a lot of veteran teams and i think you and i found a chart that talked about the trenches specifically offensive line defensive line and if you want to go ahead and pull it up Myers, and look for everyone seeing this it's kind of an r chart basically you have how good an offensive line is versus how good a defensive line is and you and you see where the jets are in the upper left hand corner there which is just a sign they got a really good defensive line with some issues on offensive line and you can you know take the chart for what it's worth but what jumps out at me is look at the teams that are right around the jets that have that same kind of level of performance you got the bills who are probably the best team in football you got Dallas, a good football team. You got Green Bay, really great roster. They just suck at wide receiver, so they've really struggled. You got the Titans and Dolphins right around them. Two good football teams, two playoff teams, most likely. And you know, even in that same quadrant, you've got the Bengals and the Rams, last year's Super Bowl participant. You got the Chiefs, great team, Vikings, one loss team, the Commanders, who who actually have a good roster, just stink at quarterback. So that's one of the things I look at that this Jets team is built right and is a good football team because they are grouped together with other good football teams when you look at this advanced metrics, advanced data, right? And that's what really jumps out at me. And that's a credit to the organization, what they've done with this Jets roster and how they built it and structured in a way where they can behave and handle themselves in the same way as some of these other elite contenders. And you see it right there on the chart. They, they, they fall and play the same style and they've built the roster the same way and they're executing the same way as some of the best teams in the game. Yeah, Nick, and I think... You know, we looked at it and you brought it up. Good D-line, mediocre to bad, questionable O-line. Uh, and that's due to some injuries, key injuries yeah. on the Jets O-line. That's some of the problem. But if you look at this D-line from the Jets, Nick, they are some monsters on here. Uh, you got Franklin Myers, you got Williams, Rankins, Lawson. And Quinnen Williams, really a guy who's impressed me quite a lot off this Jets team. Uh, and I think at the beginning of the, his career, he started out, and people questioned him a little bit, questioned the work ethic, questioned all kinds of stuff about him. But he has just turned into an absolute monster. He is a guy that I fear when they he is on the field, uh, he can really get the pressure, he can stop the run, he can do anything he needs to do. So he's turned into quite the player for them. And this defensive front for the Jets, even without uh, heavy usage from rookie they drafted from Florida State, Jermaine Johnson, uh, looked very, very good. Their corners are very, very good. Just this defense, and I am saying they're really, really good. They're actually ranked first per PFF in all of the NFL. I think this is a championship-level defense. Now, if they can fix this O-line, I think that's going to be part of Zach Wilson's issues. Zach Wilson has been lackluster. I don't think he has been as good as he could be, but if he had a better offensive line, I think that would help him out quite a lot. Obviously, the injury to Brees Hall is going to hurt them as well. But on the offensive side, Garrett Wilson is looking really strong. So I think there are pieces in play when the Jets get healthy, if they can get things moving. Uh, You know, this could be quite the team, Nick. What do you think on that? Yeah, 100%. And you mentioned some guys, but how about a guy that's quietly risen up the radar is Bryce Huff. This is a guy who led the NFL, the entire NFL, in pass rush win rate in week eight. Now, look, that's a lot of words and sentences there. Basically, he was the best defensive lineman in, in all of week eight, in all of NFL, about beating the dude right in front of him the most times. 
that that's that's crazy. This is a guy who's not a starter. He doesn't get a whole lot of reps. He's going to get a lot more reps, a lot more involvement. You brought up Jermaine Johnson, who was a higher draft pick. He's been kind of, you know, he's not a bad player just because of the depth in town on this football team. He's been kind of eliminated in some of his reps and his role. So, again, this team is just so smartly built on the defensive side of the football. They've got stars everywhere. They've got a great back end of the defense. Offensively, they got the terrible luck at tackle. That's one of the things that, you know, Zach Wilson's had his issues. But I can't think of a quarterback in the NFL that would be doing great if they just had that just unfortunate injury situation at tackle. It's just a a, a tough deal. And, and Zach Wilson will eventually overcome it. He's got the physical tools, just needs to do a little bit better taking care of the football but i really think this jets team for the first time in a really long time they're built smart they're built right they're built to last this isn't going to be a one-year thing that's kind of the point i want to bring up is that all the other guys in that grouping there all the other teams are teams that you know went to the playoffs last year went to the super bowl last year or regular playoff contenders you know they're grouped with that same cluster of guys that are always in the mix the last few years and i think this is a good sign for the jets that they're going to be in the mix not just this year but for years to come